is Saddle Mountain. This is the back side from, I guess, well, the north side of the mountain. Uh, we're going to drive around you know, over here and go to the, the south end of the mountain. Now there's an access trail where there's a bunch of dirt bikers and people on ATVs, so kind of watch out for those guys flying up into the, the road and such. But, uh, Tucker here up at Saddle Mountain. Just made it up and we just found a little spot. Just found a bunch of stuff discarded up here that had been washed up and I'm gonna start digging. Okay, so the trick out here at Saddle Mountain is to kind of find this little soft layer and uh, see if we can find something here just picking out with our hand. Usually you'll just see stuff kind of pop right out of here. I think I found this little cool chunk. Nice find. Is that? Is that it? Yeah. be finding some more. So I'm going to throw this material in the classifier and uh, go ahead and sift out the dirt and see what see what we find. The key is you'll hear a little bit different sound um, with petrified wood. Here, let me do an example. So it has more of a tink. And you hear that one? It's just a little more dull. Tink. Basalt. All right. I don't know if that's actually basalt, but it's not petrified wood. So what? That's nice. Hey, check this out. It looks like a wood knot. You're a wood knot. <laughs> So we've been here maybe 20 or 30 minutes and already found a bunch of different pieces, different types of petrified woods out here. Some that have dendritic, some root beer, some opalized, and some agatized. Definitely going to be cutting some of these when I get home today. And this one even got a little bit of druzy plate on top. Awesome stuff. And you'll go home with a bucket if you ever come out here. So. Check this place out. Just wash that one off and look at that. That's some cool stuff. Kind of a root beer color. This stuff is just literally falling out of the dirt. I'll go through here. the material and dump out all the dirt and kind of look through, see what's in there. We'll do a couple videos showing some stuff. Hey, where'd that come from? What? what? All right, so let's go ahead and find some more of this material. Ragnar found this. What? That's rad. That's rad. Super rad. Nice, man. Okay, so I usually like to pick out all the big rock and just dump in just the dirt with all the smaller stuff because you can see if the bigger stuff is wood or not. It's pretty obvious. But... So it looks like that one came up empty. I don't even see any little pieces. Let's try again. Stuff that really looks like firewood, like agatite, maybe 
make like a little campfire stack and put it on a tea light. I think that's a limb cast. Yeah. No. So a lot of the stuff up here, you get this white calcium carbonate, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But sometimes you just gotta chip the end off and see if there's anything in it. So just uh, found a cool little chunk and I want to wash this one off. Some pretty colors in that one. I got a nice clear with some opalized little inclusions in there. This is going to be cool to cut. We'll cut that one later. Just pulled this chunker out. It's got some real cool colors and it's got some like clear quartz on top. It's wet, it's hard to see, but the little pocket right there is kind of bluish white quartz and a seam running through there. Very cool piece. More of this stuff just falling out of the side of the hill as you uh, dig it open. This one's got some cool orange and red in it. But... Alright, so let's just dig in and a nice little root beer limb cast. Good sized chunk. Let's see if we can find the other piece. Well, I just uh, took out this little overhanging spot to widen my hole some and found this big old chunk of wood. We'll get this one cleaned off at lunch and a little show and tell. All right, so this is how you do rock counting. We got some stuffed mushrooms with jalapeno and cheddar and some with Parmesan. Got some steaks, some corn, and Ragnar. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, back up here for lunch, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean off a few of these finds, and we'll show these off. All right, it's the stuff. first couple that real cool and big ones. We got this one that looks like Groot, a little stump. What's up, stump? These are all pretty good sized pieces, four or five inches. Uh, this one's cool. This will be cool to get a, a round cut off and see the uh, different patterns of the rock, the wood. We had a good day up here at Saddle Mountain and just heading back to the shop and we'll get a few of these pieces of Saddle Mountain petrified wood cleaned up and uh, see, uh, see what they look like. All right. We got home and sprayed these off a little bit. And these things are gonna tumble up and turn real nice. So I'm gonna cut some of these in the shop and get.